Hi there, Taurus. This is Jeffrey. This is Ripe Color. This is your reading for the week of September 19th through the 26th. Please like, subscribe, share, comment, press the bell for notifications. I offer personal readings. I also offer IET, which is a healing modality. Uh, the information is below. This lovely t-shirt, as well as lovely astrology t-shirts, as well as one-of-a-kind handmade t-shirts, uh, are available on my site, ripecolor.com, as well as other textiles. Um, please visit my site. I'm also offering uh, personal readings in person. I live in Midtown Manhattan. If you are in the New York area or if you're visiting New York and you want to come and see me in person, get a reading, come see my art studio, uh, watch how fascinating it is to uh, have a YouTube station, being the videographer, the director, the star, and the, <laughs> and the writer. <laughs> I'm also my own makeup artist and my own hairstylist. <laughs> That's why I wear hats all the time. Anyway, but I, beforehand, when I was shuffling, I was getting a message. The message was, take it piecemeal. Don't, don't overwhelm yourself. You know, you can get what you need to get done, but it's not all going to happen. Rome wasn't conquered in a day. Is that how they say it? Something like that. All right, let's see what's going on here, Taurus. Uh, 19th through the 26th of September. September. Where am I from? I'm from New York. September. Very nice. Really nice. Really, really, really nice. I really profound. Oh, here we go. Sorry. A really loving, kind, um, fruitful, uh, healing, uh, fulfilling relationship, right? Really beautiful, really beautiful. And then we get the high priestess and the high priestess is really about, well, she's about a lot of things. Today, <laughs> she's about creation. I just feel like she's about creation. I'll tell you why. Because she's Isis. She, to, to me, she's Isis. Some people see her as Juno. I never see her as Juno. I see her as Isis. Isis. For me, is like like the primordial, original, uh, divine feminine who, out of her womb, everything comes. That's the kind of energy I feel rises. And so this is, she's also, she's about, so the veil of Isis, right? is either lifted or it's, she's either behind, she's either obscure or she's, it goes either way, depending on how Isis feels that day. And I feel like, um, hmm, there's something that's going to be revealed actually in terms of um, a contract, a relationship that has the promise of being very fulfilling. Um, You need to sit and, and make a careful choice. Yep. Yeah, you need to make a really careful choice. You also have to be willing to sacrifice something. So I think you can have this really healing contract relationship that's gonna be long lasting, but you really have, I think you have to get really clear about what you bring to the table, what you're willing to give up and what you would like to manifest because I think the more specific we get with our higher selves, with the Godhead, with the angels, with, you know, whatever, right, source,
if I'm working for somebody and they say to me, uh, oh, just do whatever you want. It's like, hmm. if they tell me, oh, do this and do that, do that. It's like, now I know what I'm doing and you know, I can do it. I can add on to it or I can decide saying, hmm, that's a bad idea. But at least I have a parameter. I think it's really good to have a, like a box. Like, let's say we're all in a box. You know, I know it's an odd thing. The good thing about being in a box is you know where to push. <laughs> Instead of just floating around aimlessly, saying, I don't know where I am. I don't know if I'm in the box. I don't know if I'm in a trapezoid. Where am I? Who am I? Right? Look for boys. Uh, you know, avoid conflict. Avoid conflict. If something comes up with conflict, that's not the right way to go. If anything, so let's say you want to get involved with somebody on saying uh, an emotional thing or business thing or whatever, and it starts to go a little bit Funny, it ain't the thing. Balance is the key. Balance is the key. I'm offering this and you offer me something of equal value in return. Balance. Balance. And in an odd way, he's balanced too. See, his balance is that he's willing to sacrifice something in order to experience something larger. So he's willing, right? But he didn't just give him, he didn't just give it away for get to get nothing. You know, he gave it away to receive something. Right? Yeah. Yeah. You know, Balance is the key, I'm telling you. So, promises and uh, it's got to be written down. It's got to be written down. It's not enough to like have a good feeling about someone. It's not enough it's got to be written down and it's got to be very clear and it's got to be uh, fair. Uh, otherwise, you're going to get involved with uh, something that's not in your best, in your best interest. It's got to be really clear. That's, I'm, get, I'm really getting that. I'm really, I got that. Celebration. Look, something has ended, something new is beginning, okay? And I think what's beginning is some sort of new contract that's very satisfying. And um, I think, you know, anything that involves fighting or misunderstanding is not the one. Things that are more give and take, more uh, fair on both ends is the thing to do. And don't Use your intuition, baby. Use your intuition, right? The empath. But between these two, I don't know how much witchier you can get. This is like, you know, the witch and the witchette. In a, not in a bad way. You know, the, to it, right? Right? So if you start to feel, oh, this could get ugly way you're getting oh this is going to get ugly walk away but if you're getting this is balanced this is fair then a sign on the dotted line right the other thing about this whole reading it's not going to be this week it, this is going to be this is like a process this is not I say that because it's the hangman. The hangman's about pause. So it's like weigh your options. Think about it. Don't just act to act. Think about it. You know, contemplate it. See what it feels like on the inside. You know, I usually don't say move slowly, Taurus, but I'm saying move slowly. I'm going to throw one more. See what's going on. Yeah, something is done. 
this this um, this old energy of being betrayed, this old energy of being it's done. It's done. So anything that smells like that, if it walks like a duck and it talks like a duck, it's probably a duck. OK, so anything that smells like that or feels like that or you could see it coming, it's like. Mm -hmm. Sometimes, you know, let's say you're in a dangerous neighborhood and all of a sudden it occurs you're in a dangerous neighborhood and you know, like behind you on this and this avenue, it sort of ends and like the energy changes. Like you don't need to walk another block to make sure that you're in a dangerous neighborhood. You turn around and you leave or you walk backwards. And so you get back to Fairview Avenue. <laughs> whatever it is, you know what I mean? <laughs> There's probably a Fairview Avenue in every town and city in uh, America. Fairview, <laughs> it probably it's overlooking, you know? It's either overlooking like a toxic waste dump in South America. It's either overlooking a toxic waste dump or an oil refinery <laughs> or, you know, something. Fairview. <laughs> Sorry. It's time for this old energy to end. So anything that smells or feels or, or looks or, or it sounds like it's, it's toxic is, okay. Yeah, and you'll get it right away. This is like a lickety split. This is almost like a, uh, a flash, like, oh, I got the whole story now. Sometimes, you know, you're talking to somebody you just met and one little thing slips out. That's what it is for me. One little thing slips out. It's like, oh, I got the whole story now. Mm -hmm. got the whole story. You know, like, it was like, that was the piece of the puzzle that I needed. And now I can see the entire thing. It's like, oh, oh. I see, I see the entire view of Fairview Avenue. Got me? So that's my take for Taurus for the week. Blessings to you. Um, it, it's a big time of transformation and change and uh, embrace it. And also, it, you know, go in with an attitude that um, like the Godhead is on your side and wants the best for you, you know? Go in with that attitude, right? Don't drag in all your own, your old crap. Because if you drag in your old crap, it's just going to start uh, multiplying. Blessings.